Good morning from Smelly Foot Farm, August 22nd, 2023. I'm getting ready to feed and water the roosters, the quail, and the quail in the, the small cage. One thing I can't stand is running into cobwebs, and that'll happen several times throughout my morning. That gray stuff there is diatomaceous earth. And I try to spread it on to help with the fly population and all the other uh, things that can happen. <clears throat> I wanted to show you an interesting fact. You might notice right here it was fuzzy. Um, that could have been potential quail, if you get what I mean. I'm going to check these quail first. And they need some food. Might as well give them a little water. I'll just give them their water through the side. I thought, well, that'll make it easier. I'll never have to open the cage. And then the one that hasn't been scalped, as she was actually scalped and recovered, um, she's laying eggs now, so I have to get in there anyway. <laughs> So I'll give them some food. We give them uh, Kalmbach 28% protein. And man, I gotta tell you, it's made a huge difference. Our quail at the top weren't laying at all. And then we started giving them that Kalmbach wild pheasant and it just went nuts. <clears throat> kind of like the quail do. I have to make quick work of getting in and out of there, but since we've started feeding them the Kalmbach, um, they're not as bad. Normally they would try to escape and get out while I'm trying to get in there to feed them. They don't do that anymore. <coughs> so, definitely a fan. We were feeding box store feed, and that did not... It didn't work out. So I'm going to carefully reach in here and get their water. And because I don't have any waters already made, which you can see, I normally do, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Quail, I've noticed for reasons I'm not aware of. Go through the water. There was a time that we were doing... Hey, I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to... Uh, we were doing fermented feed and they weren't drinking as much water then. Holy Moses, that was right across the street. Speaking of, I forgot mine. Firearm. I'll have to go in and grab it in a minute. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? We were doing fermented feed and they weren't drinking as much water. But pull back on the fermented feed and there you go. However, I would much, much rather give them the Kalmbach and refill waters and have eggs and have fat, tasty birds to harvest <coughs> than to not have. I'd rather do that and give them dry food and go through the water. Okay, kids, watch out. They get a little freaked out. They heard a gun. so <coughs> And I'll do the same for down here. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. I'm getting there. <clears throat> Give me a minute. And it looks like... So there's less birds in the bottom. And the less birds are also younger. So they eat far less food. There's a reason I try not to take these lids completely off. 
because they're real. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. They're real pain in the rear to get back on. <clears throat> They've got plenty of water. You can see there's a reason I try to sell baked goods and such to get money for feed because how much feed have I gone through so far? How much feed will I go through? I've got a double cup of this for each bird up front, a tiny cup for you know the little the little ones. <clears throat> this size cup which is two cups for each bird except the small cage. So that's two, four, six, eight up front 10 12 13 so so far 13 cups of feed now the roosters only get fed once a day but the quail I try to feed them twice a day now this part's gonna get messy and I will have to clean my camera after this so I apologize ahead of time this is diatomaceous earth it's got some lime in there so it also helps with the smell and what I do in between the times that I muck I call it mucking as I so I clean off the, po the poop off the tray I throw that in there I also do it at the bottom especially where the water is I do it in here The one that really gets freaked out about it is red and I don't put any in there so and it's I throw it on top of here normally red down there gets really freaked out but he's okay and then when I clean the poop trays and scoop underneath then I put more start out with a base of the same thing as you can see the poop is already you know because it's wet it's moist it's not covered anymore and that's that's pretty normal okay I'm gonna head on to the next group of animals after I go retrieve my firearm I hope you stay tuned and come in for the next part I stopped numbering the parts because I forget what part and uh, there are so many parts. So I hope you join me for the next one.